Hi guys, it's Mrs. V. We're doing our experiments for you and um, I have my two little helpers here. I've got Jace here and I've got Josie. So they're gonna help me do these. There's one of them that I can't do, but um, we definitely are gonna do everything we can. All right, so for the first one, make sure you've already put your boxes in your notebook. If you haven't done your boxes, go ahead, pause the video, do your boxes, okay? For each of the experiments. Now, it's going to be also on page 76 and 77 of your notebook. What you're gonna do is you're gonna watch this video and fill in. So the first thing is we are gonna run experiment one. And we're talking about temperature and how that affects um, the chemical reactions, okay? So we've got our three glasses of water. We've got hot, warm, and cold. And we have our three glow sticks here, they're which will start yellow. in a minute. Yes, they're all yellow, okay? So what I want you guys to do right now is I want you guys to pause the video for a minute. I want you to start filling in what does it look like before. We're going to crack these and show them to you and you guys are going to fill out. So go ahead and crack that one, Jace. Crack that one, Josie. Because when we crack them, we are already going ahead and we're starting that chemical reaction. Okay? And so if you notice, they start glowing. And that's because there's a chemical reaction happening. Okay? And so we've got that started. So this is, the, if you notice, guys, hold them up to the camera for me. They're all kind of the same. They're all yellow. So you can make your observations before. So you can already go ahead and make your observations before. The next step, okay? So make sure you're doing that. So excited. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming now you've made your observations. So now what I want you to do is I want you to answer A. So what effect do you think temperature will have on what you observe? Okay, what do you think the temperature is gonna do on the chemical reaction inside these glow sticks? Increase it, decrease it, keep it the same, do something. And if you think there's gonna be a change, which temperature do you will make the glow stick brighter or increase the reaction? Hot, warm, or cold, which is gonna make it better, okay? So go ahead, take a minute. I want you to make your prediction for A. Okay, pause the video. Nice. All right, welcome back. Now that you've done that, what I want you guys to do is start watching. So we're gonna go ahead and put our glow sticks in in just a minute. Okay, Jace is gonna put his into the hot. I'll put mine into the warm. And Josie, I want you to put yours in the cold. Cold, not your mouth. All right, here we go. One, two, three, and go. Hot tamale. <laughs> <laughs> so, there we go. So we're gonna watch these for a minute as they're in hot, warm, and cold, okay? I'm gonna go get a snack. And so you can start seeing what's happening to the chemical reaction or how bright these are, okay? So start, you should be making your observations in the observations during box for hot, warm, cold, okay? Okay, hot, warm, cold. And hopefully this paper is helping you guys see which one makes sorry. it which one makes it glow brighter okay and as you after you guys do your observations during then go ahead and answer b what does the temperature of the reactants have to do with the motions of the particles which member remember our heat and energy transfer from our first semester what happens when you heat things up what happens to the motions of the particle do they go faster slower remember going from like when we did the ice lab when we did from going from ice to gas okay where the particles going faster or slower okay so hopefully you guys can kind of see now we'll take them out in just a minute and we'll kind of put them next to each other all right guys are you ready to help mm -hmm. all right put your tomato down there jace <laughs> all right jace you're going to grab the hot we're going to put them right in front of the glasses so they can all see okay well, actually, we're gonna move the glasses out. So go ahead and grab, grab your stick. Josie, grab the cold. Jace, grab the warm. I'm gonna put the warm in the middle. We're gonna move the glasses kind of out of the way, okay, for you guys. And then go ahead and stick them right next to each other. Can you put yours right next to mine? So you see how bright Jace's is. Josie, move yours in to mine. And how light Josie's is. So the Jace's right here that is right here Mom's is, the is the hot. Is the hot. This is the warm, and Josie's is the cold. Okay, so make sure you're answering our questions. All right, thank you guys. All right, so let's. So that's the end of experiment one. So we'll set that aside, and we already have. We already have going on here. Experiment two started. Okay, 
Jace, can you go take those glasses? And Josie, can you take that glass to the kitchen for me, please? You got those? Can I drink it? No. I don't know what was on those glow sticks. All right, so now I'll move you guys in a little bit closer to me. Hello. Hi. Okay, so now we're on to experiment two. So now we're going to look at, you guys have are looking at your thing. Well, experiment two is surface area, and guess what? Mrs. V forgot about by chalk. So I'm going to try to look for another YouTube video for you guys to finish that one, but just leave room in your notebook to do that one. Um, I'll either find your video or when I go back to school, I will go buy a dollar store and buy some chalk and I'll do another video, okay? So go ahead, make sure your table's in there and room for answers of A and B. And we're gonna skip right to experiment three. All right, so experiment three is about concentrations and how that changes the rate of a reaction, okay? So make sure you've done your table. If you have not done your table, please pause the video and do your table in your notebook. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I know it says two glass bottles, but I went back the other day, yesterday, and I got our test tubes. This way I was gonna have you guys do it in the classroom. So I have two test tubes. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> right. I have two I have two test tubes. I have one here that is a half water, half vinegar. Okay, and I have this one here, which is full vinegar. And we're gonna do a chemical reaction where we're gonna add baking soda. Josie and I filled, filled two balloons with baking soda. And the chemical reaction <coughs> is vinegar plus baking soda makes carbon dioxide gas. So we're gonna see how different concentrations of a reactant, because we had one reactant is baking soda, the other reactant is vinegar. So if we change the concentrations of one of the reactants, how does that affect our chemical reaction. Does it increase the products? Does it decrease? What happens? So this one has less reactants because we only have half the vinegar. So is that gonna produce less, react less products or more products? And the same here, we have a full, so we have a higher concentration, so more reactants. So is this going to produce more products or less products, okay? So what I want you guys to do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna start by answering your A. So, answer your A question, make your prediction, which reaction is going to happen faster? So is it gonna be the lower concentration or the higher concentration of reactants that's gonna make the reaction happen faster? And why do you say that? So pause the video, answer and predict for A. <laughs> Would you stop? Goodness gracious. Okay, so you're, I'm gonna go ahead, it, you should have answered A, but we're gonna go ahead and put our balloons on and we're gonna make our reaction start. Josie, do you wanna put it on this oh, one? yes. Okay, so the green one is gonna be the higher concentration and the blue is going to be the lower. So please don't break the test tubes, okay? Don't dump it yet. Just remember, put it over the mouth of the test tube, but don't dump the stuff in yet, okay? So just like that can you do that Difficulty. it is difficult so if you're having an issue let me know I'll hook the test tube for you there you go I would probably be holding all your test tubes too all right so we're gonna put that in so there's our higher concentration at green and our blue lower concentration. are you ready Josie yeah. dump them in so we're gonna dump them in we're gonna see what happens okay here we go so this is a lower concentration, this is a higher concentration. So which one is happening faster? <laughs> Don't give them the answer now. And we're gonna give them a little shake. We're gonna make some of this stuff happen. Josie, just give it a little shake, a little stir there. Okay, put it down. So you can see, hopefully, that the green balloon is a little bit bigger, okay? So this one had more product produced, and it's producing a little bit. It's actually stopping right now. Is it warm? I don't know. Is it warm? I don't know. You can touch the test tube. Nope, it's cold. It's actually a very cold test tube, okay? Mm -hmm. So now that you've seen this, okay? Feel that? It's cold, huh, Jace? What Usually do you think? Is it cold? What do you think? Usually when like you do this, it's cold. warm. Nope, it's like, cold. Yep, it's cold today. Chilly. So which reaction had the fastest rate? And I would say that would the green one if it happened <laughs> faster. 
why. So why do you guys think that? That's question B. Mm -hmm. And then C, why are higher concentration reactant reactions faster than low concentration? So that's your answer to C. So answer questions, pause the video. Um, go ahead and answer those questions because we are going to head outside to do something a little messy. It's called elephant Okay. So we're going to go and do this catalyst one. I'm going to set, you can elephant watch me. Is catalyst. Stop talking. <laughs> we are going to go over and get this ready, but make sure you are got all your questions answered. And we're going to move on to experiment four. And you guys are gonna see what the catalyst is, okay? And you get to watch me kind of start to make it, okay? Well, so I'm gonna it. take my computer, but pause it and finish your stuff. So oh, if you're watching this, we are moving. Go that way. Right. Go that way. What's All right. Okay. So here we go, and I'm gonna pause it while we get ready. All right, guys. So. I've already just kind of set it up. I sent the other two. I sent Josie and Jace outside. But we're going to do experiment four. And it's the callus. So please make sure if you haven't done your table, please pause the video and do the table in your notebook, page 76, 77. After that, what I want you to do is I'm going to take you out there. You're going to see it's very messy. So it's done out in our backyard. And you're going to make your observations before and then during. There are two bottles out there. They have the same thing in the bottles. Okay, the blue one has hydrogen peroxide, higher concentration um, than you can buy at the store, but you can still do it if you want to try it at home. It's just not going to be as reactive. So you got hydrogen peroxide and soap, just dish soap, mix in there with some food coloring. The blue one is going to have um, cold water with yeast and cold water mixed in in just a minute when they dump it. The red one will have the warm water with the yeast, okay? So, of course, the first thing I want you to do is make your prediction, okay? So, A, what, which will have a faster reaction, the one with warm water and yeast or cold water and yeast, okay? And then you're going to answer B and C after it's done. All right, so you guys go ready, go see. It's called elephant toothpaste. You can try this at home. It's just not going to be as messy, okay? So, here we go. I'll see you out there. All right, guys, here we are outside, and we're going to try this. So this one right here is going to have the warm water because it's red, and this one will have the blue. This is blue water, so this is going to have um, the cold water. So they're going to mix in the yeast and the water. All right, guys, go for it. Hold the bottles once you put it in so that they don't tip over, guys. Go ahead. Well, this one was the warm water. <laughs> So that, they were switched. This one is the warm water that I'm actually holding, okay? So you can see this reaction, how fast this is happening, okay? Josie's over there is... Get the way. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see why we did this outside, guys, because this is elephant toothpaste. It makes a mess. Josie's really trying to get hers to start. Let's see. I think they mixed them up, but that's okay. They have mixed up So you can both. see if we... <laughs> If we kind of shake Josie's, ah, now we're getting something to start, Josie. Yeah. Oh, there we are. But you can see the one with the warm water most definitely it's caused this still reaction. still going. To, caused this reaction to really happen and just go crazy, okay? It's still going. And you notice Josie's is happening, but it's happening really slow. <laughs> and it's not as fun because it's just not making it. Of course, Josie will probably shake it up in a minute. But if you look, even with this one, you can see, look how fast it is. I mean, there's hardly anything left <laughs> in this blue one. Josie's has a ton left, okay? Josie, don't dump it, Josie, seriously. Okay, there we go. Now I can put and it And there it is, okay? So fill in B Ooh. and C. Hopefully you guys will see <laughs> how this all works. All right, guys, no, mom, we'll see you later. Bye.